Formation of Lead Carrier Canal from Canadian Channel to Drought Prone Areas of Sathankulam and Thisainvulai by interlinking Thamarabarani, Karumania and Nambia Rivers, Internal Valley and Thutukudi districts of Tamil Nadu. Excavation of Lead Carrier Canal to divert surplus flood water from Thamarabarani River to Drought Prone Areas of Sathankulam and Thisainvulai by interlinking Thamarabarani, Karumania and Nambia Rivers, Internal Valley and Thutukudi districts. The river Thamarabarni is one of the perennial rivers in South India. The river originates from eastern slope of Western Ghats and traverses a length of 120 km through Tirunelveli and Thoothukudi districts and confluences in Bay of Bengal near Punnakayal village of Thoothukudi district. There are eight numbers of anekads constructed across Thamarabarni river. There are 11 channels of take from the above eight anekads provides irrigation facility to 86107 acre of ayakad in tirunelveli and thoothukudi districts during northeast monsoon period after meeting the water requirement for irrigation drinking and industrial needs a huge quantity of water is found surplus at the tail end of the river an average quantity of 13758 mcft per year is found surplus at the last anekad namely shrivegunda anekad and flows into the sea as unutilized In the meantime certain drought prone areas of the Sein Valley and Satan Kulam was affected by less rainfall sea water intrusion and shortages of ground water The coastal tracts of these districts are severely affected because of poor rainfall poor ground water quality sea water intrusion and shortages of ground water availability People from this area continuously migrate to urban areas due to non availability of drinking water To overcome this ecological imbalance the scheme was proposed to draw on the impound surplus flood water from Thamarabarni river basin through its existing Canadian channel of takes from third anekad namely Canadian anekad by increasing the carrying capacity and excavating a new flood carrier canal from ml 6.50 km of Canadian channel near Vellangulli village for a length of 75.175 km to ml theory of the same valley The scheme was proposed to divert 2765 mcft of surplus water of Thamarabarni river from its average annual surplus quantum of 13758 mcft by ex- excavation of lead carrier canal with carrying capacity of 3200 cusex for 10 days from Canadian channel at Vellangulli village of Ambasamtharam taluk to ml theory of Sathankulam taluk The project situated in Tirunelveli and Thoothukudi district of Tamil Nadu state that covers construction of headworks and a canal system of main and branch canals to cover a major part with culturable command area of 23040 hectares. The flood carrier canal is excavated for a length of 62.225 km in Tirunelveli district and 12.95 km in Thoothukudi district. The scheme proposals were as follows. First one is improvement to the third anekad namely Canadian anekad of Thamarabarni river. Second one is increasing the carrying capacity of Canadian channel from 480 cusec to 3680 cusec by widening and lining the existing channel from LS 0 to 6500 meter. Third one is excavation of lead carrier canal from Bellangulli village to ML Theri for the length of 75 km. Fourth one is construction of diversion weir across Pachiya River in Tidur village. Fifth one is 21 number of supply sluices and supply channels are excavated wherever necessary for providing additional supply of water to the Manimuthar main canal, Nambia and Karumeniyar ayakatt areas. Sixth one is construction of diversion weir across Karumeniyar River in Ramakrishnapuram village. Seventh one is from Karumeniyar diversion weir the following channel were ex- excavated. First one is excavation of link canal to feed 15th group tanks of Karumeniyar for a length of 5350 meter. Second one is excavation of Nambiar link canal for a length of 6700 meter to feed Nambiar existing ayakad. Eighth one is construction of separate sluices to feed Karumeniyar sub basin ayakad below 7th anekad. The last one is formation of two ponds at the tail end of a flood carrier canal to recharge the dying aquifers. This project was originally sanctioned at an estimated cost of 369 crores and a revised administrative sanction was accorded by the government for the rupees 933.23 crores. The project was commenced on 21 2009 and it was executed in four stages. Out of four stages, first and second stage were completed.
and in third stage 98 percentage of works were completed in fourth stage 60 percentage of works are completed and further works are in progress all the works are programmed to completed by march 2023 by implementation of the scheme an extent of 23040 hectare of lands will be benefited out of which 5220 hectare of lands will be stabilized 818 hectares of land will be bridged and 17002 hectare of lands will be brought under new cultivation the water table in the adjoining wells will be raised the subsoil water to the nearby wells will be recharged the sea water intrusion in the satankulam and thesainvilla areas can be arrested by implementation of this scheme the social and economical status of the people in these drought prone backward areas will get improved and the migration of the people from these rural areas to the urban area for the need of water may also come to an end migratory birds visiting kootankulam tank bird sanctuary will be sustained thank you